Here at 530, we're learning more today about an autoimmune disease called vitiligo. It's a disease that's hard to hide because it attacks the surface of the skin. And tonight, our in-depth reporter Anthony Hill got a chance to speak with the people in the Bay Area who live with this disease at a local doctor who specializes in the treatment. So this is me um, in 2016. It was early on when it started to spread, but as you can see, I was far more browner in the areas that are really noticeably white now. Evelise Mendez was 16 years old when she first noticed a white spot behind her neck. It was alarming because I'm, you know, just a darker skin, so it was something very different. And we went to the dermatologist and they confirmed at that time that I had vitiligo. Vitiligo is an autoimmune disease that attacks pigmentation, causing people to lose their natural skin tone. So this is one of the products that I use um, that is super helpful for me. It actually helps a lot with covering the white spots. As you can see, I have this large area. I wanted to find out more about this disease and what's being done to find a cure. So I went to the office of Dr. Seth Foreman. Hello. He runs a dermatology practice in Tampa and is an expert in treating vitiligo. Dr. Foreman told me vitiligo can be reversible. But chances of that happening are best if it's treated within the first two years of onset. I have a lot of confidence that we can recapture the pigment, both with topical medications as well as phototherapy. Phototherapy is done in what looks like a tanning booth, but there are big differences in the way they are used. So this is the f narrowband ultraviolet B phototherapy unit. This provides phototherapy that they have generalized vitiligo as well as some other skin conditions such as psoriasis or eczema. But for these purposes, patients with significant vitiligo get into the booth, that we close the booth, and then we turn on the lights. And this light therapy is what's supposed to help repigment the skin by sort of scaring away the white blood cells that are attacking the pigmented cells on the top layer of the skin. Doctors still don't know exactly what causes this autoimmune disease. But here is what we do know. Vitiligo is not life-threatening, it's not contagious, and it affects about 1% of the world's population, regardless of race or gender, but tends to be more prevalent among older people. So we're very excited to have a proclamation recognizing Vitiligo Awareness Month in the state of Florida. Tonja Johnson is a vitiligo activist, and she started a vitiligo support group in 2018 called Beautifully Unblemished. The group is based here in Florida and has about 230 members. And it was founded because there were no support groups here in the state of Florida when I was diagnosed in 2014 with vitiligo. Members of the support group are arriving for their quarterly gathering to relax and catch up with each other. And then I moved to Florida and I decided something new. I'm not gonna wear makeup no more, I'm just gonna be me. And I was scared because I wasn't sure how people were gonna receive me. When you see somebody else that has the same thing you got, it's almost like you light up like, hey, there's somebody that can really relate to me, you know? So it's just awesome, so I'm grateful for the group, grateful for all you guys. And the more we expose ourselves in other environments, around other communities, other people, the more people, the more the community will be more aware. And they'll say, oh, yeah, they just like us, you know? Exactly, exactly. Thank you all for coming and sharing your stories. We have to do this more often, meetups. Eat, have some fun. Yes. yes. The cities of Tampa and Lakeland will be lit up purple to celebrate World Vitiligo Day on June 25th. In Tampa, I'm in depth reporter Anthony Hill, ABC Action News.